Money, medical experts, health workers, food and medicine, global contributions to fight the raging Ebola epidemic in West Africa have been flowing in, but it simply isn't enough. At a high-level meeting on the sidelines of the United Nations General Assembly in New York, pleas came from the affected countries, a host of world agencies, and the U.S. for more to be done, and the world is listening. CCTV's Leeling Tan joins us live from outside UN headquarters with more on all of this. Leeling. Yes, Mike, we heard grim, chilling updates and calls from countries and organizations for a stronger global response to help fight the epidemic and, as the U.S. President Barack Obama put it, to narrow the gap between where we are now and where we need to be. 75,000 kilometers away from West Africa, where the Ebola virus rages on in three countries, where infection rates are doubling every three weeks and 200 people are dying each day, where health systems are collapsing and economies are buckling under the strain, world leaders came together at the United Nations in New York to do two main things. Stand in solidarity with the worst hit countries Liberia, Guinea and Sierra Leone and fortify a global response that remains severely lacking. Dozens of countries and organizations, too many to mention by name, are making life-saving contributions. But even these are falling significantly short of the 20-fold surge that is required. The World Health Organization said earlier this week that the number of infections could reach 20,000 by November, and the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention said that at the current rate, there may be as many as 1.4 million infections by January. The U.N. Secretary General has mobilized the entire U.N. system, including the World Health Organization and the World Bank, and it's deploying its U.N. Ebola mission, or UNMIR, to the worst hit countries. The U.N. mission on Ebola emergency response, UNMIR in short, referred to by Mr. Secretary General, is in full emergency mode. I ask all of you to put yourselves in that same frame of mind. Every day, every minute counts. We need to talk, of course, but we also need to act with speed and efficiency. Nations and organizations spoke up and stepped up. Speaking to his counterparts, U.S. President Barack Obama said stopping Ebola is a priority for the U.S., but more is needed from other nations to provide air transport, medical evacuation, healthcare workers, equipment, and treatment. If we move fast, even if imperfectly, then that could mean the difference between 10,000, 20,000, 30,000 deaths versus hundreds of thousands or even a million deaths. China, which has contributed funding and specialists to the emergency response, expressed its continued commitment to fight the outbreak. As we speak, the fight against the epidemic remains fierce, far beyond the capability of any individual countries suffering from the disease. Time is life. The international community must act together and do more to get through this difficult time. Among contributions underway, the World Bank is pledging another $170 million to boost health care systems in Liberia, Sierra Leone and, uh, and uh, Guinea. And that brings its total contribution to around $400 million so far. Canada is adding another $27 million, while China has committed $33 million to the UN and $2 million to the World Health Organization and the African Union. It also has more than 200 medical personnel on the ground in the region. But clearly, more is needed in this fight against the outbreak. Mike? Leiling Tan, live from the United Nations. Thanks so much. For more on the